Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now, time to do another mod on the old uh, Royal Enfield. What I'm going to do on it today is uh, replace the stock air filter on the bike. A uh, couple of reasons. One, uh, it's rumoured that the stock air filter doesn't actually allow the bike to breathe very well. We'll have a look at that uh, setup in a minute, what that looks like. So I'm going to put in a slightly better uh, uh, filter that allows the bike to breathe a little bit better. And also it's a washable one. Uh, that means you don't have to replace the air filter each time you do a service. So it's a little bit like I did on the old trusty CRF a few years back. Uh, I'll replace the filter in that with a washable one. So I'm going to do the same with this. Uh, to start with, I have to uh, whip the side panel off and the seat off to get at stuff. So I'll do that and then I'll show you the new filter that I'm going to put in. Right, panel comes off with the key. Gently give her a tug. There we go. And there's the uh, tool kit with the uh, Royal Enfield, which is a pretty good one actually, in a little rounded bag. You give this little thing here a pull. And then the seat comes off. Let me show you close up. Right, there we go, there's the uh, seat off, and then inside here, what we've got to do to get the air filter, which lives under this panel on this side, we need to take this off, and there's a screw just down, uh, just there, that I need to undo in order to get that panel off. So uh, I'm just going to get a uh, little Allen key, or whatever that is, onto there, so I'll take this panel off, then we can look at the old filter. That's almost safe. OK, now the screw's out. I'm just going to stick some gloves on, actually. I'm going to get all covered in any gunk. This panel has to come off, and it pulls away out, out that way and then up, apparently. So let's see if we can do this. It's out that way easy enough. And then on there and up there. So just to show you what that's like, look, there's the up bit that you're going to pull out, and then there's the little lug there that you pulled out, and that's the where the screw was. OK. Whoops. Right, and here we can see the uh, the air filter assembly, and this is the, the bit that actually, the inlet that lets the air in. If I move the camera up, we'll show you up close. You can see here, look, that is the sum size of the, uh, of the air inlet. So what I'm going to do as part of this is take this off and replace this whole bit with basically an open bracket, uh, and the filter is underneath there, so we'll do that next. So these are just Phillips screws, three of. Try not to drop them anywhere. Now, when I did a similar job on my CRF, I actually drilled holes into this equivalent bit to make the bike breathe easier. But in this case, I've actually managed to get a replacement part that will just let more air in. I'll show that in a second. So that's, I'm basically going to bin that. I mean, if you wanted, you could just, you could cut it away and make yourself a new bracket, but it's going to go. This is the paper filter that I'm going to replace. There we go. Not too dirty, I've only done, well I've done less than a thousand miles, so that's uh, in good order still, but this new one I'm going to replace it with uh, will never need to be replaced because you can just wash them out. Right, I'll show you the bits I'm going to replace it with then before I put them in. Alrighty then, the bits I'm going to replace then are here. So this is from DNA, I got this from uh, Tech Bike Parts, I'll put links below, and they're my usual supplier for all things Royal Enfield. Here we go, you can see that the filter itself Exactly the same size and shape as you'd expect, but uh, not a paper one. This is a washable one that you know lasts for forever, basically, or pretty much forever. So that's just a straightforward replacement. And then this here is a bracket that is going to replace this plastic bit, which I'm basically going to bin. And that will just sit over the top of that to hold it in place in the bike. So let's stick that on the bike now. Okay, so a new air filter, doesn't look like it's got any particular way around it has to go, it's symmetrical. Here we go, like so, and then that is just going to fit on the top again. So, let's put it that way, using the original screws, like so. Right, now when you look at this opening, hopefully it's, it's absolutely clear that that's going to let a lot more air in than just that opening did before. Uh, that's quite restrictive in comparison. So as I say, that's going in the bin. And this is now the new inlet to make the engine breathe better. So I'm going to put the covers back on, the seat back on, and then the trick is to go and have a ride of it and see if I notice any different. At the very least, I imagine there'll be a bit more induction noise. So uh, I'll put the panels back on now. All 
Alrighty, that's that job done then. Nothing else to say as far as the bike's concerned. Uh, let me get togged up and we'll go out for a ride on the bike and see if we notice any difference. So, here we are out on the bike. The new air filter installed. She certainly sounds more fruity. Just a bit more induction noise as expected because of that bigger opening. And it's hard to tell whether that has an impact on performance, isn't it? Because when your bike sounds louder and fruitier, you automatically think it's going quicker. I'll try it on a fast road in a minute. It certainly feels lively. Now, the guys up at uh, DNA, we've worked with Tech Bike Parts to develop that uh, filter and opening assembly. And there are some graphs that come with the uh, kit that show you just the massive increase in airflow that that filter gives you. So theoretically, at least, the engine should be breathing easier. And I'm a bit of a tart, really. I just like the uh, additional bit of noise that it gives you. <laughs> And the fact, being a bit of a uh, tight person money-wise, the fact that I don't have to replace that air filter anymore when I service the bike. I just use the DNA kit to clean it and re-oil it, and then you reuse that filter. And that's a cheaper option than keep buying paper filters. Right, there's a bridge up here. Always makes a good noise through that. Let's give her a little, uh, little squirt up there. If traffic allows. Turn off. Here's the bridge, and I know it's childish, but it's great fun, isn't it? <laughs> so there we go. Very happy with uh, with the filter install. Recommend it to the house if you've got a Royal Enfield interceptor or the Continental GT, the twins. And that's another little mod that you can amuse yourself with. As I say, I'll stick links down below in the description as to where you can get them and I uh, hope that's been of some help to you. All right, that's it for now. Look forward to speak to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio.